we'll discuss quarter 3, module 1, the properties of matter. In this module, you will know more about three states of matter. You'll be able to explain their properties based on the particle nature of matter. Then the activities here will let you explore and study how different states of matter behave. Of course, before we start, let us have warm up. You may write it on your paper. Just write true or false. Number one, solids and liquids have definite shape and volume. Number two, unlike solids, gases don't have definite shape and volume. Number three, gases have very low density compared to liquids. Number four, solids are easy to compress. And number five, the particles of solid only vibrate in place and cannot slide past one another. Okay, so let's proceed on the next. On a sheet of paper, okay, list 20 objects in your home and classify each object as solid, liquid, or gas in a similar table like the one below. So let's proceed. What are the properties of solid, liquids, and gas? Get a spoonful of sugar and dissolve it in a glass of water. Observe what happens. What happens to the sugar? Where does the sugar go? And how would you know that the sugar is still in the solution? During the dissolving process, the water molecules attach themselves to the particles of sugar and enable these particles to separate from crystal. The sugar crystal consists of ordered and closely packed sugar molecules. A sugar molecule is the smallest unit of sugar that can exist by itself and which has all the properties of sugar. In the solution, how would you say that the sugar is particulate in nature? The sugar molecules mingle with the water molecules until they are evenly dispersed throughout the solution. The sugar molecules are so small and could not be seen by the naked eye. But we know that they are present there because we can taste the solution. We also know that they are dispersed throughout the system because all parts of the liquid taste sweet. When your mother cooks adobo, you can smell the vinegar not only in your kitchen but also in adjacent rooms. If vinegar were not particulate in nature, would you still be able to smell in the adjacent room the particulate nature of matter is a well-accepted description of matter. The basic principles of the particulate model of matter are the following. All matter is made up of tiny particles. There is empty space in between the particles. The particles are in constant motion. There are forces that act between the particles. Particles of solid, definite shape. Solid particles are close to each other in orderly arrangement and occupy definite positions, which give and maintain the shape of solid. Definite volume. Solid particles have strong attraction between each other. Its volume is maintained even when transferred to another container. Low compressibility. 
because of the closeness of the particles to each other and the lack of enough space for the particles to move in. High density. Solid particles are close to each other and completely occupy a given space. Does not flow easily. Solid particles are closely packed together and are found in fixed positions. These particles only vibrate in place and they cannot slide past one another. Next, properties of liquid. No definite shape. Liquid particles are close together, but they are not orderly arranged. These particles are in constant motion, and thus they slide past one another but stay together. Definite volume. Liquid particles have strong attraction between each other, which allow its volume to be maintained even when transferred to another container. Low compressibility. Because of the closeness of the particles to each other, there is only a little free space for the particle to move in. Lower density. This is because of the absence of an orderly arrangement between particles, even if they are close together. Flow easily. Liquid particles are not orderly arranged nor found in fixed positions and thus can slide past one another easily. Based on the properties mentioned, which of these figures represent the particles of liquid? And why do you think so? Properties of gas. <clears throat> no definite shape, gas particles are in constant motion and are far apart from each other. Since its particle can move to any space available, a gas sample will take the shape of the container. No definite volume. The large spaces in between the particles allows gases to free to move to completely occupy a given space. This is the reason why the gas occupies a total volume of the container. High compressibility. The presence of a large spaces between gas particles allow these particles to be easily pushed to come closer to each other. Very low density. The weak interaction between gas particles result in large spaces in between. Thus, only few particles are available in a given space. Flow easily. The presence of a large spaces in between particles allow particles to easily slide past one another. Based on the properties mentioned, which of the following figures represent the particles of gases? Why do you think so? Plasma is considered as a fourth state of matter. It is a high energy electrically charged gas produced by heating the gas until electrons in outer orbitals of atoms separate, leaving the atoms with a positive charge. These positive and negative charges are free to move around. Plasma also have no definite shape or volume, just like gases. It also has lower density than solid or liquid. Now, these are the questions. How do solids differ from liquids? Number two, how do liquids differ from gases? Now for your activity. I'm going to ask you to look around your house and identify examples of solid, liquid, and gases. Take pictures of the objects you found. You can also search the internet or other books and some other magazines for pictures. Gather your photos and create a picture map. Make your picture map creative. 